the difficulty or the challenge when you're working with this kind of project is that the thing that you want to create is a diffuse thing because we wanted to create collaboration and cooperation and new networks and and new inspiration as well uh, to inspire people to think more sustainably and to kind of use uh, the sustainable development goals in their work and all these kinds of things are very difficult to kind of measure in a concrete very objective way um, so so of course as i as i told you or as i talked a little bit about before earlier we had some concrete outputs we had a new creation that was created where we had a danish company producing some of the um, products and uh, with the help of a latvian company and we had a Latvian participant being a part of a, a Danish uh, initiative and stuff like that. But uh, the way we kind of chose to do it was that our local partner, after the project, uh, they surveyed or talked with the participants that we had, uh, the pitching participants. And then we had uh, two evaluation meetings, uh, one with the Latvian partners and one with the Danish partners, where we simply we talked through, okay, uh, what did the participants say? Were they happy? Did they feel like they got anything out of it? Uh, what were the outputs for them? And also we talked about how was it organizing it? What were our feelings on the day? What went uh, really well? What was really challenging? What can we do better next year? Of course, we already knew that we were going to do it, uh, repeat the event next year. So we were very much wanted to be concrete about what could be improved and, and uh, what we wanted to do differently and what kind of works, which led to uh, our addition of a Copenhagen program, led to the addition of more networking opportunities, stuff like that. We, and that's, that was based directly on the feedback of, of the participants that we got afterwards. The Latvian partners, uh, they sent out a survey and our Danish partners did more qualitatively uh, talks with their participants. So they kind of chose their own way of doing it. Some time after we did these surveys and these conversations where we at least knew where people were standing now and then we have this great uh, advantage that the local partners we are of course still in contact with because we are repeating the event which means that when some of our participants are doing something new that's related uh, to to what we did last year very often our local partners find out and they tell us so we kind of have this advantage of having an ongoing communication with them simply because our local partners are doing other events and other activities they're seeing these companies in different contexts they're talking again over coffee or something like that so we kind of always uh, we're getting this ongoing uh, in a way uh, result on the longer longer term impact and that's the again the great advantage of having local partners that are like on the ground um, I guess one, th one thing you could do is simply wait a couple of years and then do the survey again if you can still f and in that way you would get a longer perspective. Uh, but we haven't done that so far. We've just made this, this initial survey, I think it was a couple of weeks after the event. I think for this year I would very much like that I think I will develop a survey and then to make sure that we kind of get a uniform uh, way of feedback from everyone. Also because we have more local partners now. So I think the way we'll do it this year is that I'll create a survey for everyone, di distribute it to the local partners and then they can collect the information so we can use it in our evaluation. What we learned was to maybe unify it a little bit more, make sure that you're getting all the necessary information and you're getting it from all the participants. Um, and I think we could maybe as well have also kind of qualified exactly our parameters beforehand, but in a, in a way I don't think so, because it's, we knew what we wanted. We knew we wanted uh, stronger networks, we knew we wanted more collaboration, we knew we wanted this kind of new sustainable inspiration, and, and those things are almost impossible to qualify even further. And uh, I know that uh, especially if you are, I don't know, if you're getting your funding from very strict uh, sources, they will often ask for this, but in a way it's not always realistic and, and a lot of great things should be supported and should be worked with even though they're not qualifiable. <laughs> uh, and that's just, it's a challenge I think there's no easy way out of. It's, uh, it's uh, you've got to kind of feel your way forward. <laughs>